These are the 10 Meghan Markle secrets she doesn't want the public to know, part three. Number 10, Meghan's father staged photos before the wedding. Meghan Markle's relationship with her estranged father, Thomas Markle, has been the subject of much media attention since she and Prince Harry announced her engagement in November 2017. However, the scrutiny reached a new level in the days leading up to their wedding in May 2018, when the Daily Mail exposed how Thomas had worked with the Coleman Rayner Photography Agency to stage photos of him preparing for the wedding. These included pictures of him at Starbucks, using the internet to research Harry and Meghan, exercising to lose weight, and getting fitted for his wedding attire. The person who was pictured measuring Thomas was 17 year old David Flores and he was not actually a tailor but rather a student working at a nearby party supply store who had just been recruited to participate in this photo shoot. Flores described the experience as quote really strange. In an interview with Good Morning Britain, Thomas admitted that he had hoped to change his image and turn the public's negative perception of him into a positive one with these staged photos. But this plan has gone to hell, as you can see. He expressed regret for his actions, saying that he felt bad about his mistake. However, the royal family was reportedly very embarrassed by this incident and had previously issued statements asking the paparazzi to leave Thomas completely alone. So you can only imagine how embarrassed she is about this and it is definitely a personal family secret she wants to keep it in. Number 9, Former Friend Shade Meghan Markle will have no trouble transitioning to life outside of royal family, according to Shinin Govani, a former friend of the Duchess of Sussex. Govani, who knew Meghan through Toronto social circles while she was filming Suits, believes that Markle's adaptability and ability to reinvent herself will serve her well as she and Prince Harry prepare to officially step down from the royal duties. In an article for Tatler, Govani described Markle as a quote, shapeshifter who is no stranger to picking up and reinventing herself. He also mentioned that within Toronto's social scene, Markle was known for being able to easily immerse herself in various circles and was always a fixture at shindigs. These comments came as Markle and Prince Harry made final preparations for their departure from royal life. Could her former friend just be salty about their former relationship? Or is there some truth about her being a quote unquote, shapeshifter? Number 8, Meghan's half-brother is homeless because of her. Meghan Markle's older half-brother, Thomas Markle Jr., has claimed that he's at the lowest point of his life and he says that he lost his job and his home due to his sister's fame. Markle Jr. was recently evicted from his rental home in Grants Pass, Oregon and is now living in a small hotel room with his fiancée, her son, and their two dogs. In an interview with The Sun, Markle Jr. blamed his sister's global fame for his downward spiral and claimed that he was unable to find a new job or a place to live due to being known as Meghan's crazy brother. Markle Jr.'s relationship with his sister has been strained for some time, with the half-siblings previously criticizing Meghan in the media and claiming that she turns her back on family and friends if she believes they are no use to her. Meghan's fans have called Markle Jr. and her sister Samantha opportunists seeking to exploit Meghan's fame for their own gain, and it kind of seems like it. However, Markle Jr. has claimed that he has been living under a microscope since Meghan's engagement to Prince Harry in 2017. Despite the strained relationship between Meghan and her half-siblings, it is clear that the Duchess of Sussex fame has an impact on their lives and has brought both positive but more negative attention in their way. While Meghan enjoys a luxurious life with her husband and son at Windsor Castle, her half-brother is struggling to make ends meet and find stable housing. It is unclear if Megan and her half-siblings will be able to reconcile and repair their relationship in the future. But after all these years, does she really want to? Who knows? Number 7, Megan's Half-Sister In her new book, The Diary of Princess Pushy's Sister Part 1, Meghan Markle's half-sister Samantha Markle has made some controversial claims about the Duchess of Sussex. According to Marco, the royal is allegedly ungrateful for the financial support provided by their father, Thomas Markle, and is also being described as being demanding and belittling and controlling. Marco is said to have received whatever she wanted and needed from their father, but instead of showing gratitude, she is alleged to have acted in a controlling manner. While the book paints both Meghan and Prince Harry in a negative light, Samantha claims it was not written with the intention of attacking her sister or in-laws. It's worth noting that this is not the first time that Samantha Markle has made headlines with her comments about her half-sister. She has been vocal in the media about her strained relationship and had previously made controversial statements about the royal family. However, it remains to be seen how much weight these latest claims will carry, especially given Samantha's past behavior. Regardless, it is clear that the Markle family has its fair share of drama and controversy and it seems that this latest revelation will only add to their ongoing narrative. 
Number six, her past boyfriends. Meghan Markle's divorce from film producer and literary manager Trevor Engelson has been the subject of much speculation and rumor. The couple was married from 2011 to 2013, and while it was originally reported that the union ended due to Markle's busy filming schedule for Suits, new details have emerged about the breakdown of the marriage. According to the friend of the exes, Engelson was shocked by Markle's decision to end the marriage and felt like he was, quote, a piece of something stuck to the bottom of her shoe. The decision reportedly came totally out of the blue and caused a rift among their friends, with many reportedly choosing to take sides. Markle's former best friend, Anaki Pretty, who was the maid of honor at their first wedding, ended their friendship due to Markle's alleged treatment of Engelson. Trevor definitely had the rug pulled out from under him. He was hurt. It's worth noting that these claims came from a single source and have not been independently verified, but they do provide insight into the potentially tumultuous nature of the couple's divorce. Marco's divorce was one of the reasons why her engagement with Prince Harry initially caused a stir, as she became the first divorcee to enter the royal family. While it's not uncommon for people to have complicated relationships with their exes, it seems that Marco's divorce was particularly contentious and caused many, many rifts among their social circles. In the hump of our list, we have the briefcase. Before becoming a royal, Meghan made an appearance as the case model on Deal or No Deal, hosted by Howie Mandel. Meghan was one of those beautiful women who would open cases to reveal a winning amount. Her time on the show lasted from 2006 to 2007, and she once said in an interview that the only reason she did the show was to make ends meet. She said, quote, definitely working on Deal or No Deal was a learning experience, and it helped me to understand what I'd rather be doing. And while we can all imagine, the queen wasn't very pleased about this. And this search for clout only got worse when in 2013, Meghan Markle took part in a seductive photo shoot for the Canadian magazine Sharp. And of course, the royal family was not happy about this. And as well, being a royal means anything and everything from your past can creep up to haunt you. And if it's on the internet, there is no hiding. Although some outfits are sheer and revealing, she is fortunately not naked in any of the photos, much to the royal's delight. Number four, hiding her sister's disability. It seems that Meghan Markle has not been able to escape family drama even after marrying into the royal family. Her half-sister, Samantha Markle, has accused Meghan of hiding her disability and abandoning the entire family. Samantha, who has been in a wheelchair since being diagnosed with multiple sclerosis in 2008, claims that her two sisters have not been close and that Meghan has avoided mentioning Samantha's disability in public. This accusation has sparked much debate and discussion. Some believe that the lack of a close relationship between Meghan and Samantha may not be due to Samantha's disability, but rather due to conflicts and tensions between the two that are very much private. After all, the two sisters are 17 years apart and were born to different mothers, so it's possible that they simply did not have a close relationship to begin with. Others argue that Meghan should have done more support to her sister and been there for her, especially given Samantha's disability. It is important for family members to support each other and be there for one another, no matter what challenges or difficulties they may be facing. Number three, the real name. Interestingly enough, Meghan is not the real name of Prince Harry's Hollywood wife. She was born as Rachel Meghan Markle and the same name as her character on Suits. It is not known when or why Meghan decided to drop Rachel, but all of her acting credits are under Meghan Markle. Perhaps like some of her former acquaintances have mentioned, she had always aspired to get to where she is today and Meghan was more suited for a royal title. I know a lot of people who have personally dropped their first names in favor of their middle names, so this really isn't that big of a deal for me. If you know someone who has swapped around their names or has a different name they go by, then let me know in the comments. I'm super interested. Number two, potential cheating. It has been said that Meghan was actually in a relationship with another man when she went on her first date with Prince Harry. From 2014 to 2016, Meghan was dating Canadian chef Corey Vitiello, and they became very serious, even living in a townhouse together. Meanwhile, we know Meghan met Markle in 2016, potentially causing their sudden breakup in May that year. So was Harry the cause of the end of her relationship, or was it just something else? It was revealed that Prince Harry actually proposed to Meghan over a chicken dinner, and after Corey heard that, he clearly couldn't hold back and he posted a video right after the announcement of him cooking up some delicious juicy chicken. Is he throwing shade to his ex or is this just a playful thing from him? Let us know in the comments as well with this. Number one, fight with Kate. A royal biography by investigative journalist John Tom Bauer claims that Meghan Markle was the one to make Kate Middleton cry during a disagreement over dresses for Markle's wedding to Prince Harry. 
Bauer alleges in his book Revenge that the disagreement arose during a dress fitting when Markle compared Middleton's daughter, Princess Charlotte, unfavorably to her best friend's daughter. The two women reportedly disagreed over the hemline of Charlotte's dress and whether Markle's bridesmaid should wear tights. Bauer also claimed that Middleton's friend and her mother supported Markle in the disagreement. These claims contradict previous statements from Kensington Palace and Markle herself, who said in a 2020 interview with Oprah Winfrey that it was actually Middleton who made her cry and that she had actually apologized for the incident. Markle described the disagreement as being over flower girl dresses and said that she had forgiven Middleton for this incident. Serena Williams After meeting at a charity football game in 2014, Meghan and tennis star Serena Williams became great friends. After beginning to date the prince and being bombarded by paparazzi and press, her friend gave her some friendly advice. I told her, you've got to be who you are, Meghan. You can't hide, Williams said. Meghan's best friend, however, is said to be fashion stylist Jessica Mulroney. The girls became close after Meghan moved to Canada to film suits, and her three children even served as bridal attendants at the wedding. That's sweet. Unlike Drake, it seems Meghan does in fact have friends in the industry. I'm sorry that was a bad joke, but it's good to have people watching your back and giving you advice in times of need. That's really nice of Serena and Jessica, the Queen's Jubilee. The ex-royal pair, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, decided to cut short their celebrations of the Queen's Jubilee, flying back early instead of participating in the later celebrations. Royal expert Katie Nicole said of her take on the situation, I honestly think it's because they knew that they wouldn't be in the front row. And why did they leave the royal family? They left because they weren't in the front row. I believe that's why they weren't at the other celebration, as they did not have center stage seats. Meghan disregarded the respect for Queen Elizabeth II's 70th year on the throne and just flew back with Harry, all for some seats. The time she threw tea at a staffer. Allegedly, she threw a cup of hot tea at one of the Admiralty House staff in Oz. Meghan expected to get the whole of Admiralty House to stay during their tour, but she only got a wing of it. So allegedly, she told the host a four letter word off and asked, do you know who I am? Apparently she was like a Tasmanian devil during her early pregnancy, and the host tried to soothe her with a cup of tea. She didn't like the tea and threw it at the staffer. What a nightmare. And she lost her cool on an experienced royal aide. Samantha Cohen, the experienced royal aide who Queen Elizabeth asked to help Meghan transition into royal life, was screamed at by the couple before and during a flight to Australia for their 2018 tour. Sam always made clear that it was like working for a couple of teenagers. They were impossible and pushed her to the limit. She was miserable, a friend of Cohen's claimed. She was constantly having to battle on Harry and Meghan's behalf while taking all this abuse from them. That's terrible. Well, these are the 10 Meghan Markle secrets she doesn't want the public to know, part three. What'd you guys think about this list? Leave a comment down below with your thoughts, and I hope you guys have a great day.